When you're thinking about things to wear for Valentine's Day, I would definitely suggest anything that you feel confident in. You could literally wear jeans and a t-shirt and be the chicest person in the room, but it's because you've decided. Oh, okay. You've decided that you look amazing and you have this confidence. If you're wearing a really tight dress and doesn't fit you properly, you're going to be squirming and like itching and pulling and it's not going to give off a good vibe. So I would definitely suggest whatever you choose to be confident in it. So if you're confident jeans and t-shirt, maybe um, a way that you could get outside of the box is to wear like a blouse instead of a t-shirt because that fabric really changes the whole look. Maybe pop on a pair of heels, booties with this weather outside, uh, a leather jacket. Right now, jumpsuits and trousers are really having a moment. You could definitely wear trousers and be confident and also be dressy. It, you would think about it as more like a menswear trend, but it's definitely coming back for women, and I think we put our own little spin on it. It's an easy sort of go-to outfit. And then another suggestion for what to wear for Valentine's Day would be color. You can just literally throw on a dress and call it a day, but if it's in a bright color, you're already elevating your outfit to the next level. Cool. Yeah. And for the guy side? Uh, I think with men, I think the biggest thing for dressing or dressing up, dressing in general, is fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one of the things that I am always a proponent for. Uh, there's nothing better than, you know, a good fitting shirt and trousers. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, but, you know, a white shirt, black pants always looks good. Or even a black shirt and dark jeans. Yeah. Easy, but looks good. I thought you were really going to say dark. black shirt and white pants. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Groundbreaking. Uh, my, yeah. friend, my friend Ryan... Um, is always so well put together and he's a huge advocate of bow ties now has that been like a, is is that a thing for a while or is it just something that has just started and i find that bow ties aren't so dressy black tie-ish anymore they're very cash i think bow ties are definitely coming into their own right and they're and they're uh, they're everywhere you yeah. can see them you know at the grammys or you can see them on the street like in the North End. Yeah. <laughs> and they kind of, they, they have, you're right, they kind of have taken a little bit of a turn from being super dressy and they're almost like cute and fun and hip in yeah. a way. So I definitely am a fan of the bow tie. If if you can pull it off, it's the same thing with the ladies. If you're not confident with the bow tie, it's going to show and mm. it's kind of going to kind of wear you rather than the other way around. But if you're into it, absolutely. If you feel like it showcases your personality and who you are and how much fun you want to have, then I say go for it.